I know what you guys are thinking right now. Clickbait, clickbait, she's not gonna talk about semen or sperm. But I am. Because today, don't ask why, but why did I search for it? I did some sperm research for no reason whatsoever. Um, and I found a lot of very interesting information. And I was like, what? Had no idea. So I was like, maybe some of my viewers don't have any idea either. And I feel that it's my responsibility to tell you guys about sperm. It's kind of interesting and kind of weird. And a little bit gross, but you know. Um, so if you're interested in finding out all you need to know about sperm, then stay tuned. So first things first, like, I don't know if this is something people know or not, but sperm and semen are two different things, which is like, I mean, I guess it's kind of logical, but sperm are those small swimmers and semen is the gooey stuff that's around them. Um, so now that we have that cleared up, let's get to the first fact. So I think the reason I searched it, or the, well this was the fact that like blew my mind because I had no idea. Um, if I had to like guess how many sperms were in an average load of sperm, um, I would guess like 30. Like seriously that would be my guess. Like 30, 50 maybe, 70, that would be a lot. But I don't know, maybe you guys know this, but there are like well, people say different things, but like from 100 to 300 million sperms in a typical load of jizz. What? And what's even more gross, but luckily it doesn't have anything to do with me, um, a pig has an average of 8,000 million sperms per load. How fucking disgusting is that? And something else that when I like read it, it was like, what? Oh my god! But then again, I kind of already knew it, so I felt kind of stupid for not like already knowing it. <laughs> but like men obviously produce sperm all the time, like you can't like run out of sperm, they just keep coming back. Not the ones that are already out, but like they keep being produced. But women, are already born like with all the eggs they'll ever have. We don't make eggs and that's a little freaky. Like all my eggs I'll ever have in my life are in my body right now. That's a little bit gross, but weird and stuff. <sighs> Did you guys know that? Also, I did a little calculation. My math is not on top right now. So this is just like based on my basic math skills. Okay, so as I was saying before, my ba or memory ran out. Um, my math is not like super duper, so bear with me here. But a sperm is 0 0.005 mil no 0 0.05 millimeters, um, and to get to the like fertilization tubes in the woman, it has to travel 18 centimeters. And I calculated that, I mean, um, 0 0.05 millimeters to 18 centimeters is like a 175 centimeter human, like me, to travel 500 and, what was it, 583 meters. So like just above half a kilometer that they have to like wriggle, wiggle and and swim and stuff and I mean it's not that impressive it will be in, I, I mean my math can be wrong here so I don't want to like insult sperm and say that they're not impressive but well if you have to wiggle almost 600 meters that would be quite a lot but they're made to wiggle I'm not made to wiggle I mean walking 600 meters is not that much so correct me if I'm wrong, do you guys know any sperm facts? Then correct me, but most sites say different things, so I can't really trust anyone. Uh, I'm trying to learn about sperm here, man. Come on. So something that I guess a lot of people do know, I mean Kylie Jenner knows, so I'm guessing that most people know if you've seen the latest 
not latest episode, I think like last week's episode of Keeping Up. Ah, uh, whatever, nobody cares, because you're watching this to find out about sperm. Um, and it live, can live in a woman's body up to two days, like 48 hours, obviously. Um, and the funny thing is that in bats, it can live up to 133 days. Two days versus 133 days. That's a little pretty gross. Just kidding, 135 days, you know. <laughs> so 133 plus the woman living inside a day time. Also, like, don't take me for a source on this, but according to an article that I read, Wi-Fi can damage sperm and lower the quality of the sperm. <laughs> That's no good. I'm gonna have to tell my boyfriend that. No more Wi-Fi! <laughs> I wonder if you can use Wi-Fi as birth control? Gonna have to try that out. Also, sperm count in the gills is lower in the summertime compared to in the winter. So if you want to get prayers, just do it in the winter time and stop wasting your time. Also, who wants to be preggers in the winter anyway? Like, I would rather be pregnant during the summer and give birth like in the fall. Like, imagine having to buy a new winter jacket because you're fat. That's not cool. I mean, it's not nothing wrong with being fat, but like when it's just temporary and you can't wear the jacket when you're done being preggers, so. Yeah, so that's a good thing that the sperm count is higher in the winter time. Also, there is no proof that pineapple makes juice taste better or different. There's never been a scientific study on pineapple juice. Even though people say that it's different, I wouldn't know because I don't know. I don't think my boyfriend eats pineapple that often. Is this getting too intimate? Anyway, there's no proof anyway, so all guys out there like eating gross pineapple, thinking that it will help. No proof! Just like Jesus. Also, in Hitler's medical journals, just a sidetrack, this doesn't have to do with sperm really. But he had issues getting boners, so maybe that's why like four of his six wives killed themselves. <laughs> it takes like, you know when I said they have to travel 18 centimeters to get to the tubes? Um, that takes about like 45 minutes. I'm sorry for this light going across my face, but whatever. Um, that takes about like 45 minutes in a woman's body and in a cow, sperm gets there in like two to three minutes. So cow sperm is quicker than human sperm. Or they don't have to travel as far. Or they're bigger. There are a lot of components to be considered, so who knows. But cow sperm is not the same as human sperm anyway, so... Now you know that. Also, last but not least, this was what I was searching for actually when I found all this interesting information about sperm. Um, although I didn't get an answer because some people say that a load contains like 20 calories and some people say like seven calories and some people say less than one calorie. So I obviously didn't get my answer, but I got a lot of interesting information and also, I watched a documentary about whales last night before I went to bed and apparently whales, like a certain kind of whales, balls can weigh like one ton and their dick can be three meters long. Anyway, I just wanted to share my interesting sperm facts with you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something new. If you have some interesting facts to share, go ahead, comment below. Um, there we go. Which word of the day is... Sperm! Swiss word for sperm is sperma. Same thing, but just with an A on the end, I think. Yep. Exactly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumb up if you love sperm. Yep. Um, until next time. Ah, don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below to give us a video. Until next time, I'll see you in the video. And I'll see you guys later. Sorry for the quality of this video. It was filmed on my iPhone because my other camera. I don't have any batteries. Okay, bye. <laughs>